Hello, everybody. I'm Brian Cooley, in for Molly Wood, who's out on jury duty. Even though she told the judge she considers sneezing to be a hanging offense. That didn't get her excused, so some poor bastard is sitting at the defendant's table in a pool of sweat, wondering if he'll get the death penalty or a personalized Molly rant. And wondering which would be worse. First up, the gadget of the week. The gadget of the week are the twin titans of titillation from CES, the show we just got back from. I'm speaking of the dueling 55-inch OLED TVs from LG and Samsung. The LG won our Best of Show award, but both made people stare and grin like they just saw a three-breasted stripper. The image quality coming off these guys was good enough to make you hate whatever's on your living room wall right now, but the best part was around the side yard where the cases on these sets are as little as one-sixth of an inch thick. Yes, at CES, these 55-inch OLEDs make the biggest impact, and when the LG model arrives in Q3, it'll do the same thing to your checking account. At an expected price, we're guessing of maybe eight grand? I'm still in. Now the news. The SOPA blackout is happening as we're on set today, with sites like and Mozilla going dark for a day in protest of this proposed law that would some pretty heavy-handed tactics to shut down alleged pirate outside the reach of U.S. laws and do so in ways that seem to have few, if any, of the checks and balances afforded by process. I don't know. I don't download pirated I can't imagine SOPA would affect me, right? Bill Gates is ending malaria and Apple is now targeting scoliosis. As we tape today, we're awaiting an announcement from Apple that is expected to be one of the biggest moves ever to digitize textbooks, relieving kids of 40-pound backpacks full of books with 40-year-old information. Ironically, I'm reminded of the phrase, what's wrong with education can't be fixed by technology. Steve Jobs said that. Jerry Yang has departed Yahoo, where he stubbornly held on to the title of Chief Yahoo, even after the 90s ended. Now that he has a lot of time and a lot of money on his hands, it begs for a special lightning round of Top 5 Cliché Things That Tech Bigwigs Do Next. Number 5. Build a new home with a studio so they can jam with John Perry Barlow. Number 4. Find a VC firm to join and stroke their chin thoughtfully at new ideas. Number 3. Launch an incubator and inflict the next Sean Parker on us. Number 2. Start a rocket ship company. And number 1. Do nothing as big as they did the first time around. Please, Jerry, break the mold. And finally, the Zappos site got hacked this week, exposing like 24 million user records, probably to some shoe fetishist who's also an IT admin who gets off on scale as much as souls. Not only is the Zappos culture a little funky, but so is their response. They shut down phone support and went all email. They set up a special site for changing your password, which didn't work, at least not at first and everyone on their support staff was immediately issued two joints per shift. Well, not that last part. But their reputation as the tie-dyed side of Amazon didn't exactly serve them very well when this very real, very boring, and very serious crisis came down. That's the Buzz Report for this week, everybody. I'm Brian Cooley. Molly's back next week with The Verdict.